Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our cPanel tutorial series. Okay, so in today's tutorial we're going to show you how to edit a file within the cPanel file manager. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is log into your cPanel and then we're going to find the file manager. So just look for the files category and find the file manager icon. Give that a click. Now, it's going to select web root as the default normally. Just go ahead and keep that there. The public HTML folder is where we're headed today. That's the base folder for your primary domain name. And then we're going to keep the show hidden files folder, or whole, excuse me, the show hidden files option selected so we see any hidden files that we may need. We're not going to use any today, but it's good practice to have that available. Go ahead and hit go. All right, so now it opens up the file manager, and today we're going to edit a file from within here. So let me show you what it looks like first. We're gonna, the file we're going to edit is the test HTML. I've already kind of created that here earlier. And if I visit that site, the, my website with a dot test HTML, it's what I have. It just says, hello everyone. Okay. So go back to the file manager and we're going to edit the content of that file. There's two ways you can do it and there's two types of edits. Uh, first way to do it is to right click on the file and you have a pop-up menu. Now you have edit and code edit, which is the two things we're going to talk about today. Now some browsers sometimes have problems displaying this little menu here. So in that case, or even if you don't want to use it, just go up to the top and you have the edit and code editor toolbar icons up here. Okay, real quickly I'll show you the edit and just click on edit. Uh, it brings up this text editor, just kind of tells you what's going on. Just hit the edit button again and it brings up the editor. Now this is the basic editor. Okay, I'm going to close this out and I'm going to show you what the code editor looks like. Hit the code editor button. It looks very similar. Just hit edit. Now it brings it kind of up in the base editor and then it brings up, it adds highlighting and formatting to where you have color coded tags and you have line numbers. Okay, so it's a little bit more complex than what it displays. So this is good if you need to look for a specific line number in you know, a line of code or something like that inside a file. Um, you can use either one. As far as editing them, you just type in the code, it works the same way. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this one. And we're gonna do is we're gonna add a line right here. I already have it on the side here. Add your new code, okay? And in the editor here, you can see it highlighted the code, uh, the tags here for me, so I can make sure everything's in line. All right, and you click the save button up here in the upper right hand corner once you're finished. This works for both editors. Hit save. Now if I visit my site again and I refresh it, you can see that the code has actually been edited and now displays. So very simple to do. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to undo this by opening the other editor, the base editor here, edit. Okay, I'm going to highlight and remove this. Save it again. Go back to my page and refresh. And you can see it works. So it works both ways. No matter which editor you use, the code editor just has a little bit more features. I particularly like to use that one because of the line numbers if I'm looking through a bunch of code. If it's a short little block of code like the one we have here, then either editor will work just fine. But that's how you edit a file within the cPanel file manager. Thanks for joining us for our cPanel tutorial series. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below so we can bring you future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.